What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode with AB Investments. Uh, I want to start off by saying, you know, I'm not a financial advisor. Neither any of this is a financial advice. Um, I want to thank every single person that uh, was at the uh, Massalorians chat yesterday. Um, I had a, I had the pleasure of joining and, uh, you know, I, I was streaming it from my phone, so I couldn't see the comments. So I decided to go back and rewatch the whole three and a half hour, uh, you know, stream. And uh, I was I was I was very thrilled to look back at all the questions that were brought up. Um, shout out to Frankie Muhammad. Um, I, I saw I saw the question in the in the in the chat. Um, just basically uh, like what at five six in the morning when I was rewatching the whole thing. Um, much, much love, much love to all the uh, people that joined from uh, our channel and came there to support and show some love. Uh, all the people that uh, joined and subscribed uh, from that uh, chat as well. Uh, welcome and much love to you guys as well. Um, with all that being said, of course, um, you know, I've, if, if you follow my uh, community posts, I've posted in the pre-market, it was extremely bullish, bullish looking and it still is, um, especially with how the volume is moving and how everything is orchestrating. And what did I tell you guys about yesterday and today? Like you said, they, they spun the narrative yesterday that the rate hikes were was was a, a very 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 good thing and obviously the market was moving up and you know amc and gamestop both have five percent uh move up volume and today you know they spun the same narrative that in the opposite direction saying that uh, you know again the media do what it what, what it wants to do um that the rate hikes um is putting fears in the companies and we were literally just talking about this yesterday uh, you know, putting fears in the uh, investors' uh, hearts and minds, so and, and the institutions. So therefore, they're all, uh, you know, coming out, and now you see the drop in the prices, and that's why it's reluctant to move. But nevertheless, you see the market still moving forward, uh, very very bullish for this whole GameStop, uh, you know, earnings after the market closes. It's 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 extremely for me these times as I've told you before I'm very 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 bullish on these times coming ahead, especially with what, you know how like the 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 rankings of things that kind of follow each other. First, the Feds announce, uh, GameStop earnings, Sundial earnings as well, uh, coming up, and then tomorrow we have the quadruple witching day. So all these things coming behind each other, the way that the mar market is dried up war inflation all the catalysts in the background um this drives up for a very 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 bullish thing and i've made sure i commented that and posted that in the community uh section now one thing i want to talk about guys is also is to watch out from the influencers or some youtubers not that they you know like obviously you can you can sense when there's harm uh intent like harmful intentions but there are some that are mistaking the info that they might read um and uh you know you just want to kind of stay <laughs> it's tough when it comes to that and it is a little concerning um you know i, I just want to make it clear guys if, if if for example blackrock and vanguard and i've made a video about this a while ago uh, a couple weeks ago saying that their hammer of what or what people are referring to uh to them to be um, is not that much of an issue compared to the fact that we've purchased this float over and over and over many times. Um, when you're talking about the coexistence of billions of shares, um, 40 million or 8 million or 5 million shares or whatever the shares may be, um, is nothing but a drop in the bucket. That's 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 nothing. And, and those institutes, I've told you guys before as well, will look forward to unload their positions um, as far as shorten it at the top all the way back down because they look to make way more money doing so than just selling them on the way up. Uh, again, shorting is way more profitable and it's the easiest short since they can short it at the top knowing that there's no way AMC, for example, will be in the thousands 
or the upper hundreds or whatever the case may be, uh, there's no way they will stick there forever or be there for a long time. So therefore, you know, it's more lucrative for them to short it from there and exit at the, uh, you know, possibly at the two digit uh, range, you know, and close out their short. It's it's just easy money and way more profitable. That's a theory also that is out there. Not a lot of people and not anyone have brought that up. Um, but at the same time, you know, you got to keep your eye on that. But being afraid to win uh, Vanguard or BlackRock close their positions, you best believe, guys, they're going to bring that bombshell. Uh, they're they're going to media the living hell out of that, you know, saying that, um, oh, BlackRock has unloaded or Vanguard has unloaded their positions and follow it up with a crazy dip out of nowhere. Does that mean the squeeze is over? Is everybody just going to be like, well, we're screwed? We're, if, if that is going to get to us, guys, then we are not ready for what's coming for us. Uh, we're very close to it. We're very close to it. But you can't let these things get to you. At the end of the day, they have to close and buy back their shorts. Uh, it's not just buying back uh, and closing positions uh, through the institutions, um, which, as far as we know, do not have more shares than we do as, as far as retail. So watch out from the info that's being put out there. Uh, you know, I don't want to throw any, uh, you know, curveballs at anyone or any of that, but also um, BlackRock or any of these uh, companies are not getting uh, margin called. You know, these the, the, the company that is getting um, the margin calls is uh, Trigvera, uh, Tri uh I forgot the way how to pronounce it, but it starts with a T. And they're the ones who are calling around for uh, borrowing funds so that they don't have to you know, close doors and get completely margined. Um, but as far as we know for now, they got in a hard no, you know, with capital letters. So as far as for that, that's how it is. Look out for some fireworks to happen around the 2.30, 3 o'clock, maybe, you know, yeah, around that time, look look for some fireworks to happen. I mean, all this is happening before the feds do their and the institutions do their re repo and reverse repo operations. So after that goes in, which is fairly soon, um, look for some fireworks to possibly start off and for probably a very volatile tomorrow, Friday. Uh, with that being said, much love, guys. Please subscribe to the channel. Like the video so we can push it out to more and more people. And if you have any questions, put them down in the comments section. And AB's out.